Hey guys, this is Greg's Bear Review. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Kerberos Triple. This is a Belgian L from the Flying Dog Brewery. They're out of Maryland. It is a triple coming in at 8.50 ABV from the little teeny bottle. I don't care much for the little teeny bottle. Uh, to me, the packaging costs as much as what's inside of it, so it's a waste. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, Summertime beer, but it's 8.5. It will sell her. So I've had this beer for a couple of months. So hopefully it don't have any large chunks or anything stupid floating around in it. So we'll see when we get the cap off of it. Uh, it is a triple, so be careful with this. 8.5. Even though it's in a little bottle, it's still pretty potent. So you might be able to have two, maybe even three of these in the little bottles, but you're gonna pay a premium price for the packaging. Just remember that. It. Uh, it's going to be in the snifter glass, which I've got the oversized the Duvel glass here. Uh, like I said, it can be cellared. The cuisine would be Mediterranean, the cheeses, the sharp blue cheddar, pungent, the gorgonzola, uh, the Limburger, and the meat is pork and poultry. Let's get the cap off this little midget and see what we got. The glass is bigger than the bottle. Well, we got enough to smell anyway. <laughs> uh, it's a golden. It's not real clear. It's got a little bit of a chill haze on it. It's fresh out of the refrigerator. Uh, it's probably about 40 degrees or so. Uh, some bubbles sticking to the side of the glass. Didn't actually pour any head at all. 8.5, so I really wouldn't expect a large head. It's pretty much dissipated. There's very really large bubbles around the outside of the glass. Looks pretty good in the glass, though. Let's give it a nose I smell alcohol right off the bat. A little bit of a biscuity malt. I actually smell grapes. It smells more, it has a, a wine smell to it. Fairly interesting, so let's give it a taste. A little bready. A little dry, too. A little citrusy, a little lemony. Hmm. There's more alcohol in the smell than it actually is in the taste to me. Even though it's a triple. Interesting. I've not had this before. Hmm. Wonder why they put it in these little tea bottles. Then they charge just as much, if not more, for these as they do for the 12 ounce. I don't like that too much, but it's pretty interesting beer. It tastes pretty good. I'm going to sip on it. The packaging is the biggest downfall I got on this right off the bat. So I never cared much for those little Mickey Mouse bottles that they got going on here. So I'm going to sip on it and I'll be right back and we'll do the final chug and grade. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got a little up here in the glass. It's heavy on the booze smell. A lot of alcohol smell to it. it smells like it's just going to burn your mouth up when you drink it.
but it's really not that bad. It's, uh, it's a triple. I mean, you know, it's got to be. It's going to have a little bit of a boozy taste and a little bit of a boozy smell. Being a triple, but still, don't like a little bottle. So I'm, that's the last time I'm gonna say anything about that. Uh, Rate beer gives us a 52 overall and a 25 in the style. And uh, beer obviously gives it a B minus. It, I'm borderline between C, C plus, and B minus. Uh, I'm gonna give it a C plus. It, it didn't do a whole lot for me, and being in the small bottle like that, so that kicks it down a notch for me. Uh, uh, so we're gonna give it. We're gonna get us. We're gonna give it a seven and a half on the on the scale tonight. So uh, we'll do the final chug. This doesn't do it for me, so uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think. If you like these little bottles, let me know. Tell me you like these little bottles, and tell me why you like these little bottles. I don't know why you'd want to put anything in a little bottle like that, so. Anyway, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next beer review.